Have you ever wanted to put a stroke or a border around an image or a video only to discover that there is no included effect for this in Premiere Pro? Frustrating, right? I'm here to show you the way I do it. And I think it's the easiest and most versatile solution. Here's my sequence and my base layer video is on V1. On the top of that on V2, I have the video I want to add a stroke around. Let's make it smaller and off to the side. Mmm, just right. Next, open up the effects and we're going to find the drop shadow effect and let's add that to the clip. Now we're going to change a couple of things and because you are smart people, you're going to catch on real quick to what's happening. First, let's change the shadow color to yellow so we can really see it. Then the direction to zero, the opacity to 100 and the distance will change arbitrarily to 30. That will give us a nice broad stroke. Let's copy that effect and paste it three times. One, two, three. Ah, ah, ah. Nice. Now, all we need to do is change the direction for each effect. Let's change the direction on this one to 90, the direction to this one to 180, and the next one to 270. And now you're saying, but wait, that's a lot of work. So let's make it a preset. To make things easy, let's collapse our effects so that we can see what's going on. Hold your option key and click one of the down arrows to collapse all your effects. Wow. Now hold down your command key and click each effect to select them all. Right click and choose Save Preset. Name it something useful. And now you can make a bunch of these in different sizes and colors and save them in a preset folder for later use. Hold up, wait a minute. But wait, check this out. Let's say you want to change this video into a square or something. Just grab the crop effect and drop it into your effects panel above the drop shadow effects. And now you can change the crop effect to make it a square and the borders stay with that crop size. It also sticks with your scale too. You don't have to worry about redoing anything once it's set. And watch this, you can also add the 3D effect from the effects panel and turn it this way or that, like so. But wait, what if you want a circle? That's totally doable, but there's some extra steps. So let's get back to the beginning and start over. You told me to go back to the beginning. Wake up. Add your video about the right size you want, and then use the opacity effect in your effects panel to add an oval. I know, it's, we'll make it a circle. To get it to a circle, grab a handle and hold the shift key and resize. What the, how the, a perfect circle? Adjust it how you like, and also let's get rid of the mask feather, so let's put that to zero. Now we need to nest that clip so this will work. So make sure you have everything as you want it, and then nest it. And now we can add our preset we made earlier. Drop that preset on there and make any final adjustments you might need. Thanks for watching.